there's a logo on time. Hope they're still still joining us. Just one minute. Uh, we are on mixed LR, the application on your Play Store or your Apple Store. So you can join us through Insight Insight International Network on Mixed LR. The reason we chose our Mixed LR is most people use Mixed LR these days. Initially, last year we did a, a complete radio station where we can broadcast live. But there yeah, are some problems I had. I had with yeah, the server. Uh, yes, with the server and the database. So later, I was led to go for this one. I see many people on use mixed LR yeah. uh, downloading other apps. So people don't have more space in their phone. So uh, let's just continue with the teaching. Uh, this is uh, part series three. Hallelujah. This is. Uh, please, uh, you can help us to share this video uh, just to help lives, just to help people. I don't, I don't, you never heard me say this anyway. I don't tell people to share. I believe God will put it in your heart. But sometimes it's good to help others, to help people to share, share on your wall doesn't change anything it doesn't uh, it's not about being famous or being popular I'm not the kind of person like that even when you're in the kingdom of God part, those are the part those are part of the things that they will kill in us so it is God that bring people out this is not about bringing myself out it's about teaching about the kingdom uh, you see that uh, the only thing that Jesus came to teach on hearts is not about prosperity or healing, it's not about going to heaven or to have children, to have spouses. What Jesus came to preach is the kingdom. He said, until the kingdom of God is being preached around the world, then the end will come. And you can see that for the past, for like 10, 15 years, the kingdom of God has been preached for, uh, to the world. And that's why we are in the part of the end. We are just starting the end. <coughs> the end that will come is not like uh, everything will close down. No. The end. Is the, the end as the seventh trumpet? Praise the Lord. So we are now in the era of going to see God. That's the end. <laughs> so the kingdom of God is uh, growing from everlasting to immortal. So immortal life, like I was saying, is more of the soul. Immortal life is when the flesh is dead in the soul. 
that is immortal. That is when you become immortal. You can see here is this is a song that has been uh, that we used to sing. Say immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, thou great thou heart, immortal God. Invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Why? Because we are uh, praising the immortal God. So this is a journey that you are in Christ. Between what you have. So, entering into Christ. Let me put it like this. See, Christ is like this. This is Christ. Christ is always at the middle. So, let's say I'm the Christ now. Let's say, uh, what can I use? Let's say I am the Christ. I hope maybe you can see this pole. Let me come and see if you can see the pole. Okay, yes, I can see it from there. Use this one to monitor again and to check the Bible. Okay. So now this, let's say this is everlasting life. This is immortal life, and this is everlasting. This is eternal life. So Christ, the immortal life, is a portal that connects this. So it's like how how I put it. Christ is a portal, is an entrance. From here, when you journey from here, journey means to go in the kingdom of God. Because Christ is immortal. No one can see the Father unless by me. And seeing also is entering. Like we said, seeing means entering. So to see God is to enter into God. To see God is to enter. So you enter into the kingdom of God. And immediately you enter into the kingdom of God through Jesus, who is the door. When you enter the kingdom of God through Jesus, who is the door. He gave you everlasting life. Now, from Jesus, you will become immortal. How? You have to live in peace with all men. So, you are in the kingdom of God, but your assignment is on heart. How does how you know that Adam, the first Adam, was created in in the song? I've said this and this and this many times, but let me say it again. That's why I don't know this series when it will end. But let's just continue the journey. So now. You enter through the door. He said, I am the door. You enter through the door. And to journey, it's not like you walk like this, like everybody is walking on the street. No. <laughs> to journey is to go. I've, I, like to, I like to read everything and to try. Let me tell you what people believe that many people. Let me tell you if I put this thing on my wall, people will come and fight me behind the scene. And sometimes I laugh because I just pray that God should open their eyes of understanding. Because I have tried what you are having with me. I have tried it. I saw a post that said we didn't teach you, we didn't tell you to preach argument, it's to preach Christ. So to preach Christ. Somebody is arguing, you just be laughing and just be praying for the person. See, I put that sometimes ago that 
to conquer, to grow, to grow up, is uh, to be obedient to Christ. And somebody come, came behind the scene, or maybe under the post, and said, No, what do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. And said, um, We already have Christ. We don't need to grow. We need to receive Christ. You are already, we've already grown up. I think it's behind the scene. I laugh. He says, some people say the only way to go is to speak in tongues. To pray. I love also because I have done all these things. One thing I discovered that speaking in tongues will do is that it will take you from the flesh. No, we have to conquer the flesh. But what speaking in tongues will do is that it will take you out of the flesh. Because speaking in tongues is like you are Johnny. Your vessel or your life is needed somewhere else because God will never do anything without your without you giving permission so when you are praying in tongues when you are speaking in tongues or praying in spirit which is the same thing they need you somewhere else so what you are praying about let's say you are praying for this country or for your country they need your vessel. This is another vessel within, apart from this physical one. Do that. Um, as I'm doing the teaching right now, Holy Spirit is here. And Holy Spirit is a man. He's like, he's what they call the God of man. Not the man of God. He's the God of man. But I can't see him. But he can see me. But well, he has a vessel. <laughs> His vessel is a storing house for all your yearly taxes. But well, I can I know because he's feeling me what to say. So I'm receiving from him. Praise the Lord. So I can say I can see him because I am because seeing is entering. So I can see him because I am in him. See means entrance. So I can see him because I am already, I have already entered in him. So the heritage, all the spiritual blessings, which is part of teaching, I'm seeing. He is telling me what to say. He's showing me what to say. It's like an image. So as I'm here, I'm not here. I'm seated in Christ. Praise the Lord. So, to be here. So, he said, You are not of this world, you are in another place. But he said, God, protect them. We are not here to take you out of this world. But to, uh, but to pray that the fire should protect you. Because you can only shine in darkness, you can only shine in this world. Darkness is darkness means what? Light means Christ. To the Lord. He said, in him was life. And the life is the light of men. John 1, 3 and 4. In him was life. So I am in him. True Holy Spirit. So the reason you have Holy Spirit is because you are having everlasting life. I said the other time that I, uh, Ephesians 2 6 that we are seated with Christ. Or at least I saw that as is a is a version. NIV said with Christ. KJV said in Christ. It's still the same thing anyway. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the whole, see, from here, from, from the entrance, I mean, when you enter into, uh, when, you, when Jesus is the door and you enter through the door, 
you're going to come you are going to come out inside the door so when you are coming out inside the door you are in another place when you enter from outside to come in so you are in Christ so either you are seated in Christ or you are seated with Christ the most important thing is that you are with Christ so you are you are you need the spirit the heart of understanding or the spirit of wisdom to understand what that two verses are saying two versions are saying it's the same thing you are in Christ to sit with Christ so now Holy Spirit thank you see, see you are seated in Christ above but when you are above and the principal of power of darkness are under you it's the same thing was all the same thing that Jesus passed through he became flesh are you getting it he became flesh he is in Christ but he became flesh why because he entered in the midst of the principal of power of darkness in the world but with the makeup of God in him so when you are seated in Christ or with Christ above the principle above God they are still before you why you are just above them but the works of flesh are still before you because they are still under you they can still entice you now you are not under them anymore you are above them but they are still they can still entice you why because there are resources is still in you in your soul they are no more in your heart but you are they are in your soul when god saved you you came in the, in jesus to enter into christ with all the resources of the past still in you but you are now a new creature from incorruptible seed but let me tell you you are from in, you are you are a soul from incorruptible you're a child from incorruptible seed why because you have to grow how do you go you learn but when you are speaking in tongues what happens what happens is that when you are speaking in tongues when you are speaking in tongues they take your when you are speaking so it's like you are traveling you are traveling it now depends on how many hours you can speak so you are floating are you getting this you see somebody they will speak in tongues speak in tongues speak in tongues speak in tongues for like 10 hours And after speaking in tongues for 10 hours, of course, they will still be alive. But after a while, after a while, after a while, maybe they don't speak in tongues the second day, they begin to do what they used to do before they start speaking in tongues. Yes, the Bible says there is no condemnation today in Christ Jesus. Because you are already in Christ Jesus, it will not condemn you, but your light will not shine. So, as I shine, your you kind of, oh, no, 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 your light is not shining. The light is in you, but it's not shining. Why? Because what is light has to do with darkness. So you have to understand death from flesh. You are alive in Christ. But flesh, the work of the flesh is still there. Anything that will make you to be selfish, that will make you to think of yourself, just yourself alone, is because the work of the flesh is still in heart 
So the work of the flesh can also be called the fruit of sin. This is your turn. You will understand it when you you are going. You are leaving something behind. See, this one is not even the resisting the devil. I would say receive the devil will flee away. Resisting is not like it's not like you are demonstrating. It's not. That's not how to receive the devil. It's not by tongue. Sometimes the Bible says flee. That flee self is not to run away. My physical running. It's a part of it. But let me tell you, if you are in a place, maybe you have you are still young and you you have a girlfriend and you kiss the girlfriend and you hold the girlfriend though you are a child of God and the Bible says flee and you run maybe the girl wants to kiss you and you run <laughs> it's still not changing anything if you get alone in your house and you are you are now thinking like ah why can't ah, ah, why, why do they have to run away from this girl when your soul is still not clean you see, be blaming yourself, staying alone in your room. But when you have gone up to that level, if you like, up the girl, let the girl kiss you. Your flesh is dead. It doesn't move you any longer. But if you run, run, decide, run, run, and you are side on it. Ah, no, 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 I don't. Oh, somebody wants to hug you. No, 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 It doesn't change anything. You know that Satan has some head. He will keep trying until he wins. So the next time when the girlfriend sees you, you say, "What is wrong with this one?" Even this time he will come. He will come. She will come with her friends and make chess of you. Are you doing that? You too you want to be a man? <laughs> so flee is not running away. You like running away. I remember one guy took me said. A pastor, I'm so so age. I have a girlfriend. This is this is it. Can I run away? Can I? He said, she, she, he said, Can I leave the girl? I said, Don't leave the girl. Because he said he was led to God. He prayed, 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 and God told him to go ahead. I said, Okay, don't leave the girl. If you leave the girl, how are you going to conquer the flesh? Because if you say you leave the girl, uh, if the God, if God has says he should go ahead, and I believe you. See, there is a particular age that is normal, it's natural. There is a particular age that your body begins to um, play some roles <laughs> in you. You know what I mean. You cannot. It, so, see, if you conquered, if you flew, if you run away, from somebody who wants to hug, hug you. I, can you run away from yourself? When your body is playing up, can you run away from the flesh? Can you run away from your body? <laughs> you can't. So, this is the kingdom of God. Growth. Or working in Christ is the same thing as learning of Christ. That is what it means to learn of me. Why? Because I, like I said the other time, God, Jesus conquered the flesh. John 1 14 said, and it became, and the world became flesh. And walk among gods. So, see, when he became flesh, is the word of God, manifold wisdom of God, the power of God, the love of God. See, the love of God is Christ. So, you say, I love God. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to imbibe Christ. See that life must the life of the immortal life must enter into you. 
it's a walk. It's not a, it's not it's not it's not it's not the walk of the beliefs. It's a walk. Going up is not easy, let me tell you. I'll be there. Have you been in level that um like um some people will say oh no you bearing let me see let me explain the mission in case of people that are watching us here in the UK. Like ah that guy <laughs> that guy ah Girls or ladies, they like him. They will, they, those girls, they will hide him. Ah! <laughs> Do you know what it takes? What happens within you when a girl hide? It's just a hide. The wink is hide to you. A hide to you. See, let me tell you, there is a transmission between that wicking and your flesh within you it's like something ignited in you it's like they ignited the fire a signal is being sent all these things i have been deep all right now see let's find lady open the anyash it doesn't move me again but let me tell you it's not easy to conquer the flesh is not easy it's not easy at all if you like, pray in tongues. Be flowing. Unless you want to be flowing, flowing every day. But it's not in this country that you, you can't be in this country, it's for yourself a pastor, and you're not working. How are you going to pay your bills? You have to work. There is no way. People that are not working, they are not here. They are not sitting down here. They are coming and going. You will get to a level that God will tell you to stop the work. But there are some times, there are some people that right now, even what God is doing right now is that you are not even stopping the work. You are not. You will be working and you will be doing the work of God. Can I give you some, some names? <laughs> so, why? Because you need to work, to apply what you are learning in Christ? Are you learning to be patient? How are you going to apply it if you are just sitting down in your house and read the Bible and pray and pray and pray every day and doing counseling? You know? How are you going to how are you going to how how will the world the enticement, the distractions? How are you going to shine in the world? Not like the way they even dress in this country. <laughs> so, if you don't, you have to know what you. To say you love God. Ha, it's not by mouth. So sometimes God will never send some people here, like pray for visa to keep not come. God never says some people here if you have not conquered your flesh. Or you're not part of a person that allow Holy Spirit to guide you. It's not easy. It's not easy. So that is what it means to be obedient to Christ. Some people say eh, eh, nobody, nobody can do the will of God. Jesus, it's only Jesus that can do the will of God. I don't hear you. If it is true, then why is Matthew 7 21 was written? Matthew 21 says, It is not all who call me Lord, Lord, who enter into the kingdom of heaven. Only those who do the will of my Father. Why? Because to start the will of the Father, the flesh must die. When the flesh is dead, then that is when you have become immortal. 
immortal means that your flesh is dead. It's the flesh you carried from the world to enter through the door and get into the kingdom of God. That flesh must die. That soul <coughs> must be uh, must be saved. So it is your spirit or your heart that is saved. Your soul is not saved yet. So the journey from everlasting life to immortal life is for the saving of your soul. The journey from everlasting life to immortal life is for the flesh to die. The journey of from everlasting life to immortal life to immortal life is to be obedient to Christ. The journey from everlasting life to immortal life is to learn Christ and find soul and find rest for your soul. When Adam, before Adam was created and he was formed, the Bible says, and the Lord bred in him the bread of life and he became a living being or a living soul. See, what was bred in him was immortal life. So Adam, the first Adam didn't start from everlasting life. He started from immortal life. The purpose is to see God. So he's at the middle. You can see he was at the middle. He was created or formed as a pure man, as an holy man, he is a matured entity. Adam, the first Adam, was a matured man in the garden. Like I can see, he was in the garden of God. So he was created and formed as a man with. The bread of life to so thy soul can be alive to see God. So the two trees in the garden were, were God. And iniquity. <laughs> live with all men with it and um, live in peace with all men and you can see at that time there was no more there was no single man on earth so he grew just like that he was a mature man Adam was formed, was created and formed in the holy place. You understand, we understand the tabernacle of Moses very well, you understand what I'm saying. He was, he was, he, he never, because he never had a past. So this is no way, this is no essence, or this is no way to enter into true Jesus. Or to grow, to become immortal. He, ne he never had a flesh. He had this fruit of the Spirit in him. So he had the nature of God in him. He had the nature of God in him. But two trees were before him. So his soul was not saved. His soul was pure. 
So you don't need to, he, does, he, didn't, he, doesn't need, or he didn't need to save any soul. His soul was pure. He was a holy man. And everything on heart were, was holy. Everything was holy. The Garden of Eden is a garden of God. So, he has a direct portal from God to him. So, the two trees, sorry, the two trees in the garden, The two trees in the garden were Christ. And Antichrist. He was in the middle. He was immortal. He doesn't have the past. He was created. And he was a mature son. And let me tell you, just like that, he was, uh, see, he, he was a son, like Hebrews five eight said, to a son, or he learned obedience. So he was a son that have not learned obedience. He was a mature son. He doesn't need to learn anything to become the son. Are you getting it? But you need to learn Christ to become or to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you need to learn obedience. You need to obey God. Are you getting it? He is a son who has not learned obedience by suffering. So there is a suffering as we are in Christ. The suffering is the suffering of the flesh. So our suffering in Christ praise the Lord has an everlasting life that has everlasting life in him. The suffering is to conquer flesh and enter and um, and enter into the immortal life of and having immortal life in us. Don't forget, I said in series one that or series two that immortal life is in the everlasting life, and eternal life is in the immortal life that is in the everlasting life. But Adam. Was a different person. He was just created, but he has not learned Christ. <clears throat> but he has, he's, he has, he's, he's in the immortal life. He's in Christ. Who has not learned? <clears throat> so you have a kind of a, levels of light in him because he needs to have dominion he needs to rule over something so he, can, he cannot rule over the planet earth if he doesn't have the light but we i'm closing very soon to start this race war we can only conquer the flesh 
to become son. So conquering the flesh, you are acquiring light. Conquering the, conquering the flesh means acquiring light. So don't just sit down and be receiving a revelation of lack of lack of Christ. Even there are two ways to receive revelation. You can revela you can receive revelation through prayers. And you can receive revelation through knowing. So you can be praying and be receiving revelation and be preaching them. Just by that you have not grow in that revelation. But you can also receive you can what is that? You can preach revelation and you now start working in what you preached. So that when you get to a level, this people will tell you, don't forget you, you said this on the altar or in the pulpit or in your church or in the garden of your people. Don't forget that you said it. Don't do it because you have already taught people. For some people, they walk in the light, they have the life. Or they have the light before they can preach it, preach them. For some people, they just pray to receive them and preach them. So, but I am a kind of person that I walk in the second before preaching because I have to be sure of what I want to say. So, some people they just say, God, what do you want us to teach us today? And the revelation will come and they will write it down and they will come and preach it. But they are not conquering the flesh. That one is very, very bad. But you know that, like I said two Sundays ago, like anointing upon come because of the covenant of God for you. So because of the covenant, the anointing will come. You just pray, Holy Spirit will just come, will just feed you with information, it will inspire you, and you just preach it without you being not, I mean, without that you've worked in that revelation. You've not grown in that revelation. But I have to know what I want to say. It must have, I have it, that, what I want to say must have become me, part of me. So that different angles, that different questions will come. I will have answers because I have journeyed in it to conquer the flesh. Even sometimes, even it's not most of the teachings that I've, some of the teachings that I have done, I was still working. I have not even become immortal because immortal is of the soul. Immortal is not appearing and disappearing. That is transpose. That is transpose. Don't mix transposing with immortal life. That was when the teaching about immortal life started. You see so many confusion. A lot of people were confused because. The man was just mixing everything together. But it's good because God used the man to make us to be aware of the immortal life. So it's not a new teaching. It's a teaching that some people have preached as far as 18, about more than 100 years ago. But we were not in that generation. We were not in their generation. We were in this generation. So we don't know what has been taught. Even immortal life, or immortality or life and immortality has been taught by Kenneth Egin, by uh, uh, Kenyo or Toza. I can't really remember. I think Kenyo or something like that. We talk about the two kind of faith. But I've not read the book. I think I read it to a level and I stopped because <laughs> my my level of understanding. It has not grown to that level. It's like the book was too deep for me, so I dropped it. And since that time, I've not taken it back. But I like books that can address what I'm passing through at a time. And that's why some people that I listen to that are ministers of God, they are listening because I'm aware that so what I'm passing through is not new. Some people have passed through it. But when I listen to people, I don't start flying and begin to do teaching. I have to understand it. I have to.
to acquire the light. That is the best way to do teaching. That's why Bible says it's not God that comes without blood. Because some people they have they call Jesus not blood. Some of them just receive information. They are inspired, they pray, and they feed their members, but they are not growing. This is 45 minutes. Let's just stop it here. Praise the Lord. Sorry for that. Let's just stop it there. And watch out. We'll do part four. Tomorrow. Teaching like this is not going to rush, 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 rush. Let's just go, pray, and listen. Share. Please, I beg you, share this teaching. Help somebody else. Help people. Share this teaching and help people. And you can organize program with it. But please don't teach what you have not acquired. I'm begging you. One has more reward than the other. Don't preach what you've not acquired. If you know you've acquired it, and this teaching is a confirmation help others but do it by leading don't just say ah, I have life ah, and begin to organize no don't do anything outside the leading of God he will tell you when when there are there was a place in the Bible that said there is a silent in heaven so don't force utterance to come out or else you begin to mix things together but when it leads you yeah most of these things that I know I know is the past four or five years ago but i don't teach them because i have to wait for him jesus said i only do what i see my father doing which means that there are so many things you would have done but he made sure what he learned obedience you learn obedience before you do anything so god bless you so, uh, there as well, there are short, short messages. Listen to them. We are on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to convert them to uh, uh, YouTube so that if you are, have a internet TV in your house, you have the internet, you can connect, and your, your TV is connected to it, you can watch it live. Go to YouTube, you see it live. Praise the Lord. So, uh, we, and also, like I said, we have the radio station here, Mix LR. Follow us, Insights Inside the National Network. Follow the uh, page, and you can listen to it. MP3. And also, we have uh, on Telegram app, we have Hacks, Seek, and Find, is a group where we have resources to so Christian books. Christian songs and teachings. It's just recently that I started putting my teachings on it. This is a group that I started in last year, but I don't, like I said, I don't do anything. That. It's not about me. So I just started putting it. I'm, I'll just convert it to MP3. So you can come and join. And uh, after this, teacher, I'm going to share uh, the link also one more time on my wall so you can join. So I'm going to convert it to MP3 so that you can listen to it as an audio message. God bless you. Remain blessed. I um, don't know 
wait for the lady if I am to do continue past for today, but if it is not, then we we'll wait for tomorrow. Remain blessed. God bless you. Hallelujah. Before I go, don't forget we are still working on the kingdom of God. That's a, it's a series. Praise the Lord. Then later we will start with the kingdom of heaven. God bless you. Bye.